Hello Ninja Leaders, and welcome to The Leader Reader, the video series where each week we feature a book that can transform your life. I'm Nick Paul Kuski, and I love to read. I firmly believe that leaders are readers and that a book can impact your life. This week, the, our featured book is a, a little one, but it packs an impressive punch. The book will teach you to serve with a smile. And this book is Smile and Move, A Reminder to Happily Serve by Sam Parker. Uh, this little book, I first heard about this book after watching Sam's, watching a video based on Sam's previous book, 212, The Extra Degree. I love the video, really love the concept, and then I heard about this and just had to check this book out. Uh, it's a like, real short read, uh, real nice and condensed. Uh, but basically, this book is designed to help you happily and successfully serve others. And it's a perfect book for a student organizational officer because your job is to serve the members of your organization, to serve your community, to serve your school, to serve your campus, and to serve others around you. And this book, Sam takes some concepts, some concepts you're probably familiar with, but he breaks them down really simply, really plainly, and really challenges you to implement them in your life right away. And I think this is a perfect book to kind of kick off uh, the new year, the 2013, really focusing on your service and how you can impact others. The way the book is broken down is also, side note, I really like the extra little cards he gives you with great little reminders. Really cool little touch. Um, but the book, it talks about a little story about his daughters. But then it goes into breaking down the components of smile and move into really two things, two categories. We smile by and we move by. And in each of those categories, he has four or five different actions that you can take in order to live by that category. So for example, in the smile category, uh, the actions are being awake, being thankful, being approachable, complaining less, and smiling really. So by being awake, that is all about being present. You know, actually not necessarily being awake, awake, but actually being in the moment, living each day, being aware of what's around you, really being engaged and being interactive in your life. And being thankful is about being thankful for what you have, the gifts that you've been given, but more importantly about having gratitude for those, of, those around you actually going out there and expressing that gratitude to the people you meet, to the people you're interacting with, to the people you're serving, being thankful that they're there and really showing it to them, actually letting them know about it. Uh, being approachable. Pleasant people are much nicer to talk to. People like being around those people who are present. So it's a, who are pleasant, not present, pleasant. So it's really about being the type of person that pe someone can go up to and actually talk to, carry on a conversation with. And if people have to kind of are a little bit hesitant or tiptoeing around you, afraid to ask you questions or to ask your advice, what kind of leader are you really going to be? You are not going to be a good organizational officer. You're not going to be a good servant if people are afraid to approach you, if people are afraid to ask you questions. So being approachable is a big point. Complaining less. You, pe Frankly, people are too busy with their own issues to care about the issues that you have. I know that sounds harsh. I know that sounds a little mean, but it's true. Besides maybe a few po clo very close people around you, you should keep your complaints to yourself. If all you're doing is wasting energy, People really don't care about them. They are busy and wrapped up in their own personal issues to really care too much about what you're complaining. All you're doing is kind of being that pers person that people don't want to approach because you are constantly sending out these negative energy to things that people can't do anything about. Now, if someone, a complaint to someone who can actually do something about it is okay. If that person has the power to affect change on the issue that you're having, then good. You should talk to them. Those are discussions that you should have. 
but so often people complain to people who have no power to do anything about the issue they're facing. You know, they have no opportunity to fix the issue that you have. So don't complain to them. That's just a waste of energy. That's a waste of time. Uh, lastly, smiling really. Sam lays out some excellent, excellent uh, suggestions on how to create smile, to make smiling a habit in your life. I think they're awesome. I think you should try them out. It's really going to actually make you happier because when you smile, it's kind of a natural thing to be more happy. But Sam actually teaches you some practices that have you reflecting on things, that have you making being happy more, a more consistent part of your life. You know, we all have ups and downs, but when you build in certain practices, when you build in certain habits, you can genuinely be happy more often. The next big category was the We Move By category. And the uh, actions in there are starting early and going long, going beyond expectations, having a sense of urgency, and being resourceful and resilient with no excuses. Uh, I think they're kind of, you get the gist from just the title of those actions, but Sam really goes in deep and gives you strategies on how to implement them better in your life. And I will save those for you for the book. That's why you should go out and get Smile and Move because it's going to be a perfect way to kick off 2013. It's going to allow you to serve those around you better, to be a better leader, be a better servant in your organization, in your uh, school and campus. And frankly, it's going to allow you to have a little bit happier life. And I think that's what we're all looking for. We're all looking, we all want to matter. The move part in this book will help you matter. And we all want to a little more happiness in our life. So go out, get Smile and Move. You can click on the link below to get a copy of the book from Amazon.